Simon from Rachel Star herself. Watch Jeff Boski on YouTube. Jeff Boski. Jeff Boski. Jeff Boski. It doesn't matter, we're stuck and I'm about to go to the wind to play a 1600 mystery bounty. But I look at the schedule and there's a $600 half pot limit Omaha, half no limit hold'em event going on right here at Valley's. Almost two hours into late reg, perfect. I got 600 bucks. Hop into $600 half and half, round by round. And we have two familiar faces at the table. Online old school legends. Dutch Boyd and Shane Shake Shake Shane Shagler. Shagler. Schlager. Shane Schlager. AKA Shaniac. Both active on Twitter. Check them out. So hopefully we'll have some fun, win or lose. 30,000 starting stack, and I get this hand, hand number one, and make it 3x to go. Action folds the big blind who folds. It's all downhill from here. <laughs> With blinds at 300, 600, 600. We're playing some No Limit Texas Hold'em. Under the gun, probable European male opens. He's played over half the hands. It's 1,200. Player on my right calls, and I'm on the button with Alan Jackson, offsuit. We could call, or we could put in that three bet. 4,500 to go. Action folds around to Under the Gun, who puts in the call. We did not want to see a four bet, but you know, we can play, we can play some boards. We're heads up. And the flop comes, ace, eight, deuce. Great board for our range, he checks. We bet 3,000, he calls. We could have some worse aces here, some small pairs. Turn brings a 10 of hearts, bringing backdoor heart draw, Broadway draw, whatever. So when he checks, time to size up. 10,000 is the wager, and he quickly shoves all in. On the surface, you might be thinking, Boski, you got top pair, put in the call. But you gotta think about what hands are, is he repping? Deuces, eights, ace deuce, ace eight suited. King queen of hearts for the back door. We don't beat any of his value jams because he's probably just gonna be calling uh, with ace nine, ace seven, stuff like that if he even calls pre. He's just gonna bluff catch. Ace 10 is also a possibility. So uh, with about 25,000 behind, 10,000 in the pot, we put in the call and we see the 9-7. He turned a straight draw. Let's hold. New table, 1K big blind, run to the gun with pocket queens, raise it up to 2200. Asian male calls the cutoff, and Asian male calls a big blind. We can just call them cutoff and big blind. Flop comes Jack, 5 4 all spades. We have two red ladies. C bet, 2500. Cutoff calls, big blind folds. Turn is in offsuit 7. I think uh, betting here is fine to get value from Jack X and Ace. Uh, Ace-X with the Ace of Spades type of hands, or even pocket pairs containing a spade in them. So I bet 7,500. And he thinks about it and makes it 20,000. I have about 65,000 behind, and he covers. What do you do? What do you do with two red queens here? What are their bluffs? And what, what's the value? Value is going to be sets and small flushes. Bluffs are going to be Ace of Spades, really. Maybe some random stuff, I don't know. But, in the end, we are not ready to play for stacks, so I fold queens quickly, and I tell him I made a big fold, and he immediately says, would you have two queens, no spade? If they automatically guess that, that means I was beat, right? And they're kind of like mad I folded that hand. 
Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And we have 65,000 going to second break, dinner in two hours. 1K, 1K, 1K big blind. That's right. We have a special guest. What's up, dude? Um, <laughs> I can't do this to my bro. Okay. Uh, Boski, you're the man. Run it up. We're in it. I don't know what. We're in the 600. So hopefully you're kicking some ass. I have no idea how you're doing. So you're up. I'm up. Let's, let's get it. I, I don't know. <laughs> All that thin crust. Blinds at 1,000, 1,500, 1,500. I'm out of the gun plus one with ace 776. Suited to the clubs, ace high. Probably just a fold, but I've been playing tight. And let's get in there and gamble. They must think I'm scared to play Omaha. I, Mark Safe calls the middle position, and the small blind calls with three ways to a flop of queen seven deuce. We hit our set, but there's three hearts out there. We have no hearts. The I check to Mark Safe, who bets hot. He thinks it's 14K, it's actually 16K. Other guy folds, and we put in the call. Just over a pot size bet remaining. What are we gonna do if we don't boat up on the turn? Our fears are quickly vanished as a deuce comes on the turn. We got the boat ski. Hopefully he doesn't have queens full. I check to him and he bets pot again. Strange sizing. Uh, I guess he's saying he has the ace high flush and he wants to get value from a worse flush. But I jam for 56,000. He starts cursing the dealer, cursing his luck, and eventually puts in the call, and he's drawn dead. Raise up pocket aces under the gun, 5,500 at 2,500, big blind ante. To my surprise, European scientist looking guy goes ahead and makes it uh, 18,000. He's got 25K behind, what a dream spot. And then the unthinkable happens, small blind, Asian male, 21 to 40, goes deep in the tank and shoves in 88,000. What's he repping? Kings, ace king, I don't care, until the big blind also goes in the tank. We're about to have a four way all in with aces. He folds, I put in the call, three better calls it off with ace 10 off and 88K shover has, Pocket Queens, here's the video. Big hold for a double up and then some. I, I, I had a big hair too, I pulled it. It's so oh, oh my god. Aces. Queens, aces are good. I folded sevens. Sevens folded. Back to the spades. I just put it on like. Damn, is that Tony Montana? Yeah, looks like I just blew up from Miami, right? Welcome yeah, to Vegas. Yeah, yeah, I mean, viva Las Vegas, baby. Watch out for the cockroaches. Yeah. <laughs> Blinds that. 2,000, 3,000, 3,000 under the gun is desperate and he shoves his 14K stack in the middle. I'm under the gun plus two with ace 10 of clubs. Pretty standard call. Could argue for an isolation, maybe a min raise, but we just call. And to our surprise, the small blind and the big blind come along for the ride. The flop comes. Queen, Jack, low card. Two spades, one club. We got the Broadway draw. We got the backdoor club draw. And out of nowhere, the small blind leads out 24,000. What's he repping? Big blind folds. And with 155,000 behind, I think a call is reasonable. But I think the more creative play is a shove all in. That's right. He has about 200,000 behind. We gotta figure he has a hand like queen 10 here a lot. Maybe even some draws. And after we shove, he goes deep in the tank. Will he fold a queen in this spot? If he calls, we're gonna have a 350K pot or more. He eventually folds. What he later tells me is two red kings 
We take the 24K side pot, and more importantly, the main pot against the shorty. They have ace nine off. The dream situation, ace 10 kicker, will it play? Less than 400 remain, 317 get paid. We're tied for the biggest stack at the table. Time to apply some pressure in the PLO rounds. Look down at the old Jack Jack. 9-8 with the 9 of spades under the gun. Loose again, but it's PLO. Anything can happen. Player to my left calls, and we get two other callers. Flop comes 10-9-6. So we do have an over pair. We do have a middle pair, and we do have an open-ended straight draw. Two diamonds. I decided to check and see what happens behind me. We don't want too much action on this board, but when the player on my left pots for 58,000, the other two players fold, I feel obligated to run the equities of my hand versus. We get it in for 73,000 each, and they have queen 10, 10, 8, and we need to get there. 200,000 chip pots. They just combine the clubs. Or just... Bubble time. Oh. Yeah, time. I mean, again, you're getting the right price. I mean, it's... Man. Where are you from? Denmark. Shout out to Denmark. How's the poker there? Not good. Not good? High rate? Uh, Copenhagen is just like one one table of cash game and crappy tours. So, oh, uh, shit. Yeah, yeah. We have to go here. Okay. Well, <laughs> so I watch the vlogs all the time. Appreciate it's it. Super entertaining. I Thanks. try to bring it to you. Yeah, yeah. The best yeah, I can. Yeah, the action comedy. You got it. You're in it. Appreciate it. Cool. Eight thousand big blind. I raised and won the pot the previous hand with pocket sevens, and we look down at pocket sevens again. It's a sign. Under the gun plus one to make it sixteen hundred to go. Asian male on my left, twenty one to forty. Goes into the tank for about a minute and decides to move all in. Is he Hollywood or does he have a legitimate decision? Folds back to me, we have him covered. Put him on ace king, ace queen, king queen suited. Pocket fives, pocket sixes. We beat all those hands. Maybe he's throwing a little ace five suited in there. You gotta win flips to win tournaments. We put in the call and it is not a flip. He has pocket queens. Let's get lucky. Five. Ooh, five. Oh my God. See, I, I called the five on the turn. I willed it, and I almost felt bad when the three hit the river, but it feels great to win a huge pot and get lucky for once. Let's ride this momentum all the way into day two. Twelve 
1200 big blind. Middle position opens 26,000. I'm on the button with Queen 10 of diamonds. I think about three betting, but this player might be the type that's gonna four bet jam. So we just call. We're heads up to a flop of King Jack seven, two spades. No diamonds, he checks. I think about betting, but I check behind. Ace of clubs hits the turn. My heart is pounding. He might have pocket aces. He might have top two. He goes for a bet, but it's a small amount, only 16,000. I think a raise here does make some sense in the form of we're attacking a small bet, but not too much for our range. What are we repping? Queen 10? <laughs> I don't know. It's best to put the money in the pot when you got a premium. You got the nuts. 70,000 to go. Setting up that river pot size jam. We have him covered. He thinks about it and he folds. No idea what he's blocking on the turn and folding, but good fold. We're now on break with about 400,000 chips. Three more levels, two more hours. It's gonna be past 2 a.m. I got here at 11.45 a.m. What blind's that? 10,000, 20,000. 20,000. We're playing pot limit Omaha. Extra full surround to aggressive opponent with 700k in the stack. Who opens to 45,000. Folds me in the big blind. I look down at King King 8 4 with some spades. Definitely a very reasonable holding to go with for 10 blinds effective. Re repot it. He thinks long and hard. After seeing the full 215,000 stack that I'm committing, he decides to gamble. He's got some unders, queen, jack, eight, seven. Kings, baby. Dry board, please, let's hold. Full double. Let's hold. Big hold, kings with the spades. All right, some unders. Keep it clean. Keep it clean. Um, not very clean. Need some help here. More help. Straight. Straight. Yeah, I gamble, sir. Good game. I am running good. Yes, I am. Out. You have to win your all ins. If you don't win your all ins, you got no chance of winning. And I'm out. And we are out. Of the World Series of Poker, $600, 8 max, half pot limit Omaha, half no limit hold'em. A mouthful. A long, long day. It's one, it's one o'clock in the morning, and I got two min caches in one day. Good times. Like, subscribe, and comment if you want to see more min caches in the future.